Hey, and welcome to the next video in the Python Tricks series. So Python Tricks is a new book that I'm working on and it's kind of like an, a buffet of awesome Python features. So um, the goal with the book is to give you, you know, a really quick overview with a simple code example and kind of a guided walkthrough through one really cool aspect of Python that you might not have heard about. And this could be, you know, a little known syntactical feature, a little known feature in a Python standard library. And it's it's all very practical stuff that's going to help you um, get better in your Python coding. And so today um, I want to cover a particular Python trick that um, I guess is a little bit more quirky, but uh, it'll still lead to some really interesting considerations. And uh, so what I want to talk about today is a really crazy dictionary expression. And so I'm going to move this out of the way here. And uh, yeah, so this dictionary expression is uh, pretty surprising. At least it was really surprising to me when I saw it for the first time. And so let me just type this out here real quick. So basically what we're doing here is we're putting in, we're creating a new dictionary and we're putting in a bunch of keys and um, uh, keep like keep those keys in mind. Just kind of look at those keys and, and maybe you'll know what's going to happen when I hit return and evaluate this expression. So um, I'm just going to wait for a second, like think about this. What, what do you think this is going to what do you think is going to happen when we evaluate this expression? What do you think the outcome of this would be like actually pause the video and think about this for like a minute or two and then come back to it. Okay, ready? I'm going to run this now. Boom. Okay, so the result we're getting here is a dictionary with just one key. It has just one key, true, and the value is maybe. And actually, when we look at the original expression here, that's kind of surprising in my books, right? Uh, because, well, the true key, well, that, that was the key we put here, and actually the value was supposed to be yes. And then that no and one doesn't show up at all. And here we have uh, 1.0, the float value uh, as the key. And, and this may be value for that key now actually shows up here. So this, this seems like a complete mess. And uh, this seems, you know, this is a really surprising result. So I want to untangle that now because it's going to show you um, I, I think it's going to help you to a better understanding or deeper understanding of uh, the Python interpreter and how Python Python works. Like certainly helped me with that. Well, the first thing we should do here is try to break down how Python processes our dictionary expression here. And um, I'm just going to play through that now. So basically what happens here, if we create a new dictionary, let's just call it Xs. We create uh, a new dictionary, right? And then we'll just grab the key and the value and uh, we'll assign the value to the key, right? Uh, didn't want to type value. I wanted to type yes to match that up with the initial example. So what happens here is that we just add all of these keys here and these values. And as we do this, we should end up with exactly the same result, right? So there's nothing crazy uh, or special about this dictionary expression. It's it's just getting evaluated like any other old dictionary expression that you can come up with where Python does exactly this. So I think that gives us a hint, right? Because it kind of makes us realize that, well, as we're assigning these keys, they're, we're overriding them, right? Like the key one, the integer one overrides the key true and the integer um, one point, uh, the float 1.0 overrides the other key. And well, I mean, it doesn't really override the key, but it overrides the value, right? So we, we end up with like, it seems to be taking the key from the first time we set this particular key and it seems to take the value from the last time we set this particular key. I mean, at this point, we don't really know, like, why are these considered all the same key? But it kind of gives us a hunch, right? Like, what, what could be wrong here? Like, let, let's play Python detective here. So if we're actually trying, like, uh, validate this assumption or test this assumption, let's just compare all of the keys that we're using here. 
And actually, Python tells us that true 1 and 1.0, they're all considered um, equal. They're all considered to be the same key. And so that's the case because Python actually treats Booleans as a subtype of the integer type. And you can dig that up in the Python documentation here in the uh, standard type hierarchy. So um, when we search for bool here, you can see here that the Boolean type is a subtype of the integer type and Boolean values behave like the values zero and one respectively in almost all contexts with the, or the exception being that when converted to a string, the strings false or true are returned respectively. And, and that's our explanation, right? That pretty much explains what's going on here. It doesn't really explain why we're not ending up with the key uh, 1.0 at the end, but it kind of explains how these keys are getting overridden. So what we can see here that as we're building up this dictionary, we're overriding the value for that key. And because you might be wondering why we're still ending up with um, true as the value or like the name for that key, that is the case because if the, if the keys are considered equal, Python doesn't actually have to update the object. Right? If they're considered equal, it can just keep the initial object and update the value. And so what you end up with, if we play through this again, let's play through this again. Let's actually, let's, uh, let's start with a, new, uh, with a new dictionary here. So if we play through this again, we're gonna say, okay, y is true equals yes. And we print out y's. Okay, that makes sense, right? And now we're gonna say y is one equals no. All right, what do we expect now? Well, we expect the key to remain the same and it to be uh, overridden with um, with the new value. And now if we uh, set the key one to maybe, then again, we expect to end up with the result that we've gotten uh, out of this dictionary expression very early on. So this seems to confirm our, our theory here. All right, and that, dispels most of this magic here. Now, there might be, you know, at the back of your head, you might be thinking, oh, aren't Python dictionaries hash maps or something? Is that like, is that what a hash collision is? Um, sort of, uh, and actually I've got a lot more to say on this topic to kind of really dive down into the hash map stuff and really uh, untangle where that, that comes into place. So you can either check out the book for that um, or you can read a blog post that I wrote about this earlier. So uh, that, that there are gonna be some pointers for you to dive more deeply into this and they're gonna be linked in the description for the video. And again, if you enjoyed this video or this video series, then please check out my book uh, called Python Tricks and I hope I see you soon. Mm -hmm.